Okay, we've added a few options recently to Diagnostic Network, and uh, when you're logged in, uh, you will typically see uh, at the top left here all discussions. You can drop that down now and uh, go to my watched topics, so those are defined through this uh, selection icon here. You can look at my discussions, anything that I've authored. The new item that we've added is types, message types, so we have uh, now um, we have bounties, uh, and then you can filter by case studies, demonstrations, discussions, events, questions, and so on. The item I wanted to highlight here are resources. This is something we recently added uh, a few months back, and it allows uh, users to upload content, such as waveforms or other reference material, uh, without it flowing into the main stream here. So if we click through to resources, we'll now see everything chronologically added to uh, the resource area. If you want to filter even further, you can select the search icon here and either type in a keyword or take advantage of the makes. So if I want to look for all GM related resources, uh, there I, I can filter for that and uh, see that information. Uh, typically you'll find in here a lot of waveforms uh, that have been added um, and other reference material and uh, and so on and you can also drill down even further I mean if you wanted to go to all Chrysler you could do that um, but in some cases what you're typically want to gonna want to do is maybe select the higher level all FCA and then maybe uh, type in um, the engine you know 2.4 liter um, to see what uh, what you can turn up there uh, as well, and anytime you want to get back to the main home page, just click on the Diagnostic Network logo. So that's a quick look at our uh, new menuing system, and if you have any questions or comments, send us an email, support at diag.net, and thanks for watching.